Hello, everybody. Now that I'm entering my last year of undergraduate study, I have a lot of courses under my belt. And with all the normal sounding mandatory ones like calculus and probability and random variables, there are also some really weird ones. When I was in high school, I saw a certain elective in the course catalog, and I took it as a joke because it just looked so funny. The name of this class? Plants for Pleasure and Profit. Like, what? My friend Damien and I would always joke about it, saying, Most people take this course for the profit, but Evan, he takes it for the pleasure. I love plants! Yeah, the course ended up being one of those courses that people take just to boost their GPA, but I ended up loving it. I was so full of pleasure! Of course, the teacher did pronounce things a little oddly, such as saying asparagus instead of asparagus, but I got to plant my own vegetables, so that was awesome. And now I can safely say, I love plants! Especially trees. And the rest of my high school electives were just spent on foreign languages like Spanish and French. Me gusta! However, I realized that in order to graduate, I needed to take eight electives for my senior year of college. Now, I did let you guys pick which course I should take next semester, except out of the top five, all of them ended up being restricted electives, meaning I had to be an art major or film major to take the course, or they weren't being offered this semester, so I can't take any. However, one of the courses that you guys voted the top five seemed a little odd. Underwater Basket Weaving. This made me curious. Well, it turns out that's an actual course. So in your face, DS Dude 1107, underwater basket weaving is a course offered at Reed College in Portland, Oregon. Figures. So then I started exploring the world of really weird electives, and this is what I found. Elvish, the language of the Lord of the Rings, can be taken at the University of Wisconsin. Wow. We all know who's transferring there next semester. <coughs> the Four of Clubs. <coughs> The phallus. Explore the role this part of the body has played in society. Why? Alien sex. Explore the weird, wild, and depraved aspects of sex between humans and monsters alike. What? Um, okay, University of Rochester. Just don't go anywhere near my kids. Bokeh or E-cubed. Okay, here's one I like. Street fighting mathematics. This course shows students there's a way to analyze fighting using mathematical patterns. Gee, thanks, MIT. Now I can calculate how much force that roundhouse kick is gonna do to my face. Approximately 363 newtons. Here's another fun course from MIT. P.E. for M.E. This course is basically phys ed for nerds, using physical activity to teach lessons about mechanical engineering. Oh my god. Do you like literature? Do you like being extreme? Well, how about extreme lit? This course asks students to engage in some adventurous recreational activities while reading from authors who love to go outdoors. To the extreme. Now here are some courses I think should be mandatory at every university. The Art of Walking. While you'd think that most able-bodied students at college would already know how to walk, Center College will teach you how to walk better. Tree Climbing. Students who never learned how to climb a tree when they were younger can now receive college-level education from Cornell University on how to climb a tree. Knitting for Noobs. Some students feel it's totally worth the cost of tuition to learn how to knit scarves. How to Watch Television. Montclair University will help you learn how to turn on that television and watch TV more actively. I really don't know what else to say about these. Learning from YouTube. Pitzer College is going to help you watch videos and learn from them. Something you could do without a college course. Oh wait, something from Princeton. This is one of the most esteemed colleges in the world. This has got to be really good. Getting dressed. While most students, I would imagine, already know how to get dressed, this course takes it one step further. Okay, that's enough of this. These courses are getting just really silly. But I still don't know what course I'm supposed to take next semester. I would like to take that YouTube course, though. I might learn a thing or two. Have you taken any particularly weird or funny courses yet? Leave your comments in the comment section. No, you know what? Someone in the last video commented and said they were just gonna leave their comments in the comment section above. I don't know what they're talking about. There's definitely no comment section up there. It's like comment section heaven. It's like comments go when they die. So if you want me to actually read them, then put them below. I don't know what you're gonna do up there. But as usual, I've got lots of homework to do, so I gotta go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Nave Regnide. Ralph Waldo Emerson. This is how he speaks, supposedly. I like to go on a lake called Lake Walden, make a big freaking house.